UNLV is off to another hot start, having won its first two games of the season. And the Rebels are on the verge of cracking into the top 25 of the national polls. Hi, everybody. I'm Jesse Kurtz here in the Mountain West Network studio to talk some Rebel football. We head out to Las Vegas and bring in the All-American, Jacob DeJesus. Jacob, appreciate you making time for us. Pumped up to talk to you, man. And thank you for having me on here, man. We really appreciate it. Yeah, of course. Well, I appreciate the way that you guys are taking care of business out on the football field. You're off to a 2-0 and start. You go out and beat Utah Tech 72-14 to on Saturday, and that comes on the heels of winning the season opener on the road against Houston of the Big 12. What do you think the Rebels proved by going down to Houston and beat up the Cougars 27-7 to to open up the year? Um, I think it just proves that we're a strong team this year. We feel like we're a very, uh, you know, disciplined team this year, a very strong team, and, um, you know, we're ready to just get after it. You yourself had two touchdowns in the win over the Cougars and are factoring very heavily into the offensive game plan this season. Of course, last year you were an All-American return specialist named preseason Mountain West Special Teams Player of the Year this year after leading the country with 1,079 combined return yards in 2023. In what ways do you envision yourself continuing to be an offensive weapon for the Rebels this season? Yeah, I think, um, you know, just being... Um Having a lot of variety, the way they can use me, you know, being available at different positions. You know, I know uh, Coach Mary likes to put me in the backfield, likes to have me uh, spread a, as a wide out and, um, you know, just doing different things, doing whatever I can, you know, to get my hands on the ball and help my team win. Um, you know, I feel like that's our, that's our plan going into every game is just, you know, how can we get our, you know, playmakers the ball in space. And so, um, you know, having me, Ricky White, Casey Kane and um, JB, all on the field at the same time is very dangerous and uh, you know I feel like uh, our offense is just super explosive and then you can't forget about uh, Matthew Sluka and, and, uh, and all of our running backs uh, Jet too and so you know uh, we just got an explosive offense this year and a very good defense. So. Yeah the Rebels have all kinds of weapons all over the field but when we looked at this team before the season and from the outside one of the major question marks was who was going to play quarterback for the Rebels. Who was going to be the guy that could lead the Rebels back to a Mountain West championship game? Well, now through two weeks, I think we got the answer. Matthew Sluka has been great, throwing for five touchdowns and rushing for another. What has impressed you the most about the Holy Cross transfer? Just his playmaking ability, really. Um, you know, he just goes out there every day, he practices hard, uh, but really just when it comes to game time, he, he's really on point. He, he makes plays, as you can see. He could run too, and so um, you know when, when the receivers um, aren't open or he, he's getting flushed out in the pocket, you know uh, we know that he could take off and run and get the first down and make a big play. And, and then also, you know, he has a very great arm, he's very accurate, and you know he knows how to get the ball to the playmakers. And, and, and so he's just a very smart QB. And but just all in all, he's a he's a playmaker. Yeah, and you mentioned this guy earlier, also a playmaker. You get to play alongside another. All-American from UNLV, being Ricky White the third, one of the top deep threats in the country. In what ways does he compliment you and make your job easier? Uh, just e every day, man. R Ricky White is is a, a great receiver, great player, uh, but really he's a great competitor, man. And he, you know, he's always looking at how he can get better and, and not only just get himself get better, but getting all the receivers better to the whole receiving court. Um, he's a great leader. And uh, just having him on the field just it, it spreads our offense out so much because you know everyone is usually always worried about Rick because you, you always got to know where he's at uh, on the field at all times because uh, if you don't he's gonna make a big play and make you guys pay for it. You seen last week he had three touchdowns. That's just the kind of receiver he is, man. He, he just does everything right. He makes the play when when the ball comes to him, and uh, you know he's he's gonna be another great addition to our team, man. So. Yeah. My man, you lead a very busy life. Not only are you busy on the field with the Rebels, you're very busy off the field. You're engaged, having proposed after the UNLV spring game in 2023 to your fiance, and you have a beautiful daughter who keeps you busy off the field. Tell me a little bit about Amelia, how you balance football and fatherhood, and maybe how she inspires you to be a better player. 
Yeah, Amelia, man, she's so she's so amazing. She's so beautiful and, and just so young, and um, she's super smart though too. She she learns a lot. She actually goes to uh, preschool here uh, on campus at the UNLV preschool, and, and she just comes back home and she just tells me so much about you know what she's learned or, or you know new friends that she's made, and you know it's super cool having her so close to me um, and just having her here living here with me in Vegas. Uh, just, you know, I'm glad that her and, and my fiance moved out here uh, just because, you know, it, it would be hard if they're away from me. But, you know, having them here, it's just like I get to live the best of both worlds. I get to do what I love playing football and, and I have my family here. You know, um, when I go home, I can take my mind off football and just be with them and be with my family. But she, she pushes me, you know, to do to do better, you know, um, when I'm feeling like, you know, maybe nervous for a game or, or something like that, you know, I always think of her and, and she just makes me, you know, makes the nervousness go away and makes me feel like I, I got to do this for her. You know, I got to feed my family. So, yeah. Yeah, great inspiration. Appreciate you sharing that. Oh, I'm sure Amelia can't wait to watch on Friday night. You guys got a big one coming up, and it's one of only two games that will be played across the country that night. So you'll have a lot of eyeballs on you. It's another chance, of course, to beat an A4 opponent from the Big 12. The Rebels are playing Kansas, and coincidentally, it's the very team that you played in a bowl game last December. What are some of the things that excite you the most about this rematch with the Jayhawks? Um, some of the things that is excite me the most is just going over there to Kansas. And like you said, it's, it's a Friday night game, one of the only two games that's going to be playing that night. So there's going to be a lot of uh, eyes on the Rebels. You know, it gives us a chance to show the nation, uh, you know, how, how strong of a team we are and how good we are. Um, another thing that uh, I'm excited about is just, you know, going out there and playing a team that was ranked in the top 25. I, I'm not sure if they still are ranked in the top 25 after the uh, loss to Illinois, but, you know, they're just a strong team. So, um, you know, it's just I'm excited for that matchup, you know, playing two good teams going at it. It's going to be a great game. Uh, UNLV hasn't shied away from playing a strong schedule and great competition. This matchup is one of 35 non-conference games against A4 opponents that Mountain West teams will play, and UNLV has four of them. Houston, Kansas, Syracuse, Oregon State. What is it about your team that makes it ready to tackle a challenging schedule this year like this? I think just the coaching and the discipline that we have this year. Uh, you know, we have a strong coaching staff. Um, and, and, and with that comes, you know, they're, they're instilling discipline into our team. You know, I felt like we had a, a really good team last year. But I think this team this year is just carrying an edge. I feel like last year we were... Almost surprised being that good, um, you know, ha having UNLV hasn't been that good in a long time. But this year, you know, we're, we're, we're trying to show everybody this isn't the same UNLV team that everybody's been thinking of in the past. You know, we're, we're a new team and we're trying to, um, you know, put UNLV on, on the college football map as far as, you know, we're, we're uh, a college that's, that's going to be good in football from years to come. And, and this is the kind of... Uh, you know, aura that we're, we're, we're taking into the season this year. Well, you guys certainly haven't surprised anybody, but you're taking care of business on the field. Jacob, I appreciate your time. Thank you for sharing your story, and good luck on Friday night against the Kansas Jayhawks. Thank you. Appreciate it. You bet. That's Jacob DeJesus, All-American return specialist and wide receiver for the UNLV Rebels. By the way, you can watch he and the Rebels tackle Kansas on Friday night. Kickoff on ESPN is set for 6 p.m., Central Time. From the Mountain West Network Studio, I'm Jesse Kurtz.